Hello everybody, it's the Saints man, the small van driver on the six. And it's Wednesday afternoon, ten past four and I'm done. I'm home. Yeah, this is the Monday to Wednesday this week on the CX and what a variety I've had. Um, start on Monday. First things first, yeah, fuel prices. Is everyone else finding the same? They are going up dramatically. My UK fuel cards now has caught up with my BP. In fact, there's only point three of a penny between them, which which makes it easier because I've I've been using my UK fuels because it's been two to three p a litre cheaper. But BP, I prefer the fuel at BP. So, but it's going up. So, although prices may be going up, we're putting a little bit more on it. All it's doing is, I think, you're paying for more fuel. But anyway, that's just my little moan. So, Monday, as I said last week, I got a little job to Cheltenham, um, which worked out really well. Uh, it was literally one box. It was to a waste management company. Uh, I'm glad the bloke gave me a couple of clues where it was, because it's a really awkward little place to find. Um, it, well, it would have been, but he, he gave me a couple of clues. I got it on Google, but the Google only took you to the road where you had to turn off and when you turned off you thought well it can't be down here but it was because the bloke says you wouldn't think it's down this road but it is and then you have to go past a couple of curves and, and this building was right at the very end so that was all done got 59 pound for that and it was 74 miles so that weren't too bad and then i picked a job up quite quickly because i was in i weren't in Cheltenham, i was in cleve dean or something like that then i picked a second job up from dursley to Bristol, Dursley's in Gloucester, and it was a 20, 25 mile job, I think, something like that, 25 mile job, 30 mile job, but I was 20 miles from it, it was 35 mile job, and I was 20 miles from it, so it was 56 mile all in, I quoted 36, about a pound a mile on the job, loaded, but I got a bit to get to it, and got it, and it was just transferring stock, from one tyre fitter to another, and it was one tyre. One tyre. It was an abnormal size tyre, so obviously, the in Bristol, where I took it to, they needed it. They got a car that needed a tyre, and the only place that got it was this place, so... How the hell they made money out of that? Because they had to pay me, they had to pay the shipper, I don't know. But anyway. So I was in Bristol then. Good area, like Bristol. In fact, I'm in Bristol the last, Monday and Tuesday. Bristol, I... Picked a job up to Abingdon. It was um, COVID. Uh, got to Bristol. Got to the pickup, and it was a twelve between twelve and one pickup in Bristol. And I got there about up as twelve, and it was to a residential address. Knocked the door, and the lady hadn't even been delivered the COVID test. She was waiting for another courier to take the COVID test to her and he'd been contacting her and he's, he'd been stuck in traffic and he was stuck, he was on it on the M4 stuck so he was going to be about one o'clock to quarter past one so I thought, oh well, we're going to sit and wait I phoned the shipper up to say that I'd arrived at upper 12 but this, she hadn't actually got the test and they said, fair enough, uh, can you wait? I said, yeah, I'll wait, I don't mind waiting I said, I'll let you know when it's on we'll see what time is so that was upper 12 he eventually arrived at 20, 25 past one. About 25 past, no, about 20 past one, he arrived. It's nice to have a bit of lunch, actually. I sat and had my lunch outside. Uh, nice lady as well, so I've got no problem, but I thought, well, I will let the ship in. I went, and I thought, and he turned up, and he did the test to her. She was an actress. Uh, I probably should have recognised her. She was quite a famous actress, apparently. He did the test to her, and he popped it in the bag, and it was about 140 by then, 145. So I phoned the ship up to say that I'd got the goods. I've been an hour and ten. And she says that's over our time of waiting. She says, how much waiting time do you want to put on it? Which quite put me back, really, because I knew I'd get rid of it at the other end within about a minute. So I said, well, can you put 12 quid on it? That was well, normally 25 quid for a... And, and uh, for an hour, and she just said, do you want to put 12 on it, or 10, 12? She said, no, I'll put 12 on it, and she put 12 on, so fair play to the shipper, that made that job really good, profitable. I got to Abingdon, 
and my regular I've got a regular shipper who phones me he doesn't put it on the CX he just phones me up and says if I want it and I have to pick it up the night before so he phoned me up he got a long day on the Tuesday for me and I says yeah I can do that and that was so from Abingdon I was 56 miles from home so I drove home from Abington. So that day, Monday, I did one hundred and seventy-two pounds, which is a yeah. My my lowest I like to do is one eighty. Well, I do one seven, one seventy, one sixty, one seventy is okay. My lowest is normally one eighty. If I do one eighty average, that, uh, that's nine hundred a week. That's my lowest. A thousand is I'm really happy with, and the over a thousand is good. But yeah, it's just under. And I've got a big long job for the Tuesday, so I picked the, the Tuesday load up. I drive home from Abingdon. I come home, had my dinner because it weren't ready, and it's only three miles down the road. And then I popped down the road at seven o'clock at night. Picked up. I got four drops for Tuesday. So Tuesday, Monday, I did two hundred and eighty miles. Uh, I got two hundred and seventy-four pounds, so not too shabby. Sixty-three or something pence a mile. Tuesday. I'd got a long day, so I got four drops. I'd got Cheltenham, Cardiff, Bristol, Exeter, and Cheltenham. They were going to be there at eight o'clock, so I left my house at six o'clock on the dot. Six o'clock, and I was in Cheltenham before eight. Lovely little drive again. I think I've told you this before. I go across country. Yeah, all A roads, all the way. And it's great. Really nice A and B roads, uh, and it's less mileage. It might take me a ten minute, five minutes longer, but less mileage for me. I got there, tipped Cheltenham. These are really good tips. I've been to all, all these places before. These four places, it's it's the same, it's the same things as well. It's um, it's boxes of cosmetics to go to retail, and yep, they just do a couple of boxes at each one normally, or f sometimes four or five depending on how busy they are. And so I started with Cheltenham. Cheltenham, I left Cheltenham and I stopped at services, grabbed myself a coffee and toilet and grabbed a bacon roll because I didn't have no breakfast because I didn't bother. At six o'clock start, I'd only had a cup of tea which I took with me and then I did Cardiff. Cardiff was straight in, straight out, no other group. Out of Cardiff and to Bristol. Bristol was on the Cribs Causeway, I've said that before, one of the biggest retail parks I think I know it covers a massive area um, which was no problem and then from Bristol I went to Exeter and I got to Exeter and I was tipped by 12.45 so 6 hours 45 minutes it took me from leaving my house to doing it and having a quick break well a good break actually when I had a coffee and, uh, and that uh, yeah job good so then, where I go in Exeter, it's right in the cent city centre, but I go around the back to deliver uh, tradesmen's, and you just go up one road about a mile, and there's a Morrison's, big Morrison's, which is great because I get fuel from the fuel card, I get something to eat, I get a toilet, and it's just a nice place to perch as well. It's north of Exeter, uh, which I did. I perked, and I thought, all I want now is a little job. Just sort of 50 quid job, because I got... On that job, I got £197.25. I don't know. They, I let them work the mileage out, and then they times it by what pence per mile I charge them. And that's what it worked out at. Um, well, they don't just round it up or round it down. It wouldn't be an aggro to me, but they do it exactly. They can, I'm assuming it's computer generated, is it? I don't know. It was a beautiful day, and it was good. The only aggro is I've got a bad back at the moment. So I was feeling it a bit. I'm feeling it walking. I'm walking the dog, I've got a bad back. I'm, I'm not getting enough exercise, that's the trouble, I'm sitting in the van all the while, so I'm trying to do exercises, so I've started doing a few exercises uh, for a bad lower back, I've also got an appointment with, with uh mate's wife who's a well, physio, she does massages, so hopefully that will sort that out soon, but then I thought, I just want a little job now, if I get a 50 quid job, get something up to Bristol maybe, then I can park at Bristol for the night and just... Next morning, today, as in Wednesday, I'll get a job out of Bristol. Hmm, didn't quite work like that. I put my laptop on and put a radius of 50 miles and nothing come up. That, that's a lie. One come up, but it was going further into Cornwall. And I don't, you, I don't want to be in Cornwall 
because I can't get nothing out of Cornwall. If I'm stuck in Cornwall, I would have struggled today to get anything out of Cornwall. So I wanted to get back to Bristol, knowing I'd get work um, for Wednesday today. But um, it didn't happen. I put a 100 mile radius in, because Bristol's 74 miles from where I was. And jobs in Bristol were there. But obviously I'm too far, it's within an hour, I can't get there. And this was at 2 o'clock. But then a job was on there, Bristol to Norwich. Pick up Bristol at 4 o'clock. 74 miles, 2 hours, easily doable. Nor Bristol to Norwich was 247 miles, rings a bell. This is on yesterday, Tuesday. And I've got eight. I've got 70 miles. To, I worked out 320 miles all in. And I thought... I'll quote it on 320 miles and I'll put it down at 75p, 70p all the mileage. I thought I'll put a quote in and see, but I don't think I'll get it. I put a quote in of £225, Bristol to Norwich, for a distance of 247 miles. And the job, I got a phone call within about two minutes. And you know when the phone rings, I know the, the shipper because I've got their name comes up. It ain't just a number, it's their name of the shipper, so I know it's them, and I'm like, oh, shit, I'm going, obviously going to end up in Norwich, this day's gone from a nice little trip to Exeter, and a little poodle around, and a and happy days, finish about three to a monster, which it was, it was the biggest day I've had earnings on the CX since I started, uh, I drove to Norwich, I got to Norwich, not too bad actually, I uh, got to Norwich, I picked up at four, and it wasn't just one COVID. I picked up three humongous sacks of COVID from uh, Bristol University. Uh, so it was all student stuff. Got there, real awkward place to find. I fluked it, but if it was fluke, the sat nav, you have to go up a really tight street in Bristol, and it's called the, the post room or something, around the back, and I just fluked it when I found it. Um, but yeah, found it, I did. And then it was just along the M4, M25, A1, cross uh, Bulldock, through that Royston, cross the 605, pick the A11 up, up to Norwich. I was there. I, I, I had a break anyway when I got to Bristol before I picked them up. I had a break of an hour. Well, not quite. Yeah, three quarters of an hour. So I had my break there. That's something to eat. And then from there to Bristol, did it stop once. Uh, had a little stretch in my legs, and I was in Brist. I was in um, Norwich, COVID's place at eight forty eight, eight thirty five, eight forty at night. But by the time I parked up, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tramped in Norwich quite a bit, and I tramp in the same place. It's not brilliant, but it's on a lay by off the main road, off the main ring road, and it's got a good gap between the ring ro main road, and it's normally okay. It's quiet at night. But on the way, I'll pick, grab some chips. Oh, I know there's a chip shop. I can't think of the name of chip shop, but nice. I had sausage, sausage and chips. So she actually took to Burger as well, because they were shutting at nine, and I got there about ten to nine. So she took to blooming battered burger as well, so I had that and a sausage and chips. And I was parked up nine. Had a little look at YouTube, had a look around Facebook, looking for jobs the next morning, because I'm in Norwich, how many people are around me. And there was three or four drivers, small drivers, all unavailable. They're always obviously stopped. I thought, hmm, Norwich can be awkward to get out of. But hey, that day I did £422.25. That's my biggest day. I haven't done over 400 in a, and not in a small, not on this job. I've done a lot of 380s and 390s, and they've been long days. But I did 614 miles in total. And... It was probably a 15-hour day, 6 in the morning till when I'd parked up, although I finished the job about 8.40, I parked up at 9 o'clock, done. So that's 15 hours. And I had an hour off at Bristol, 45 minutes at Exeter. I'd had 45, 40-odd minutes at uh, just between Cheltenham and Cardiff. And then... Obviously, I grabbed a sandwich. I had a little stop on the way to between Bristol and Norwich. 
So, that's my big, biggest day ever. 4.22.25. So, with Monday's 172, I am way over target. If I'm targeting 200 a day, I'm well over. I'm nearly done three days. So, we come to today, Wednesday. I'm in Norwich. I slept well. In the back, even though it's back of the van, even though I've got a bad back, I what I carry with me now is a tip. Anyone tramping? I used to have an inflatable. Well, I still have inflatable uh, camping. It's like a mat, and you blow it up, and it's quite spongy. It's only about that thick, so that's all right. But now I've got that, and I've also got a single topper. Topper's about that thick, memory foam, and you lay that down, and then put the sleeping bag on top of that, and it's just yeah. Even with my bad back, and I'm on eye proofing. I slept well. I was tired. 15 hour day. I used to do that in the trucks, easy, but I'm getting old now. Anyway, so this morning I'm awake about 7. I got out of my pit about 7. Struggled with a back, quick tablet of ibuprofen. Um, got my kit together, had a quick cat lick, cleaned my teeth. I am determined today. It's bike night. I'm going to bike night in about an hour. So I thought I'd do this first. Um, I was determined to get a job, one job, just wanted one job, near home, get me a bit of money, and I'm coming home. Back's hurting a little bit, and I looked around me, there was four or five drivers, I thought, this could be a struggle, this could be a struggle. Do I just drive, home? am I going to be driving home empty? I don't know. And a job popped up, about quarter to nine, Norwich to Berman, Bermondsley, South East London, South East London, just past Deptford. Just by Rotherhide Tunnel. Um, 100 and... going to say 120 mile all in. That was with me getting there as well. So I quoted 90 on... No, I didn't. That's a lot. I quoted 89 on that. I always do knock a pound off, thinking it looks better. 89... Sorry, my neighbour's got a bloody mower on. It always looks better. 89, I think, than 90. And you're losing a quid, but it's like 99 pence or a pound. 99p, I don't know. So I quoted £89 and I got a phone call, yeah. I was amazed because I, th I quoted up there, although it's London, I don't mind, and it's not in the congestion zone. And uh, she phoned me, she says, you okay to do that job? I said, yeah. I says, I'll be there, I can be there in 15 minutes. She said, great. She says, uh, you've put 89 on there. I thought, oh, there she goes, she's going to try and knock me. And she says, can I round it up to 90 because I don't do odd numbers? So, fine you round it up oh she says yeah i just don't like odd numbers so she rounded it up to 90. so i got 90 quid when i picked it up it was from a seating company they reupholstered some bits not even seats they didn't even didn't even weigh five kilos they were like, they were like uh, cushions and a couple of tops they i don't know what they were shelving very light flimsy shelving but nothing and it said archway number six I've done archways in London before, they can be a pain. I thought, Jesus, here we go. And, good tip, I went out and my sat down was going to take me through Rotheride Tunnel, which you can't go through in a commercial vehicle. I found that out the hard way in about May. Cost me 60 odd, 65 quid, because I didn't know. And my sat nav took me straight through it, and I just went through it in my little van. It's great, you can take a 4x4 bloody Range Rover, straight through it, but you can't take commercial, even though it's a little van. So, good tip for you. Do not go through the Rotherhide ride tunnel. It's width restriction, so it is quite tight, but it just pissed me off, that did. 65 quid, that was my profit on the job, that was. That was in May. So, through the Blackwall Tunnel. Takes a bit longer, not far, but 15 minutes longer. With a, and Blackwall Tunnel is always busy. I uh, got to the archway, and luckily it was a modern set. Of, they'd modernised the arches under one of the bridges, and it was all modern... In there, in, in, um, it was on the new Rotherhide Road, and sat down, took me straight to it. Lovely, backed up, tipped in about a minute. And then it's, what do you do now? I want to get home for bike night. And I'd, I looked at it, and the traffic was horrendous everywhere. I don't want to go through the congestion zone. So I've got one sat nav set, so it doesn't go in the congestion zone, it'll go round it, and one that'll go through it. And I've took the one round it. Ended up going over Vauxhall Bridge. So I went round the ring road, old Kent Road, did a left, kept going on the ring road, over Vauxhall Bridge, up past Buckhouse, Hyde Park, just about, I'm, I'm used to London, I know where it is, uh, and up the Edgware Road, the A5. 
and I parked at services at the bottom of the motorway, the M1, because I burst in for a wee. And there was a courier driver there from Intercity. Nice bloke, I had a chat with him. He was done, he was collecting or something, he was going back to Leicester. I was just looking for a little chill out break. Uh, yeah, once you've done London a like, lot, and I weren't, I thought if I get something from Watford or something to Northampton, I'll take it. But if not, I'm just driving home because I had such a good day yesterday. And that's what I did. I drove home, yeah. I've done today 200 miles for 90 quid. It's not brilliant. It's under 50p. It's 45p or whatever, 46p. But I am well over. I am, yeah, what am I? 600, 600, I'm at 80, 80 quid over my good target. So, yeah, I should be on 600 and I'm on 680. So we've got tomorrow and Friday. I'm going to go and get a shower. It's beautiful weather out there. And I'm going to be bike night. So, hope you're all making money. If you want to like, subscribe, whatever you do, put, ring the bell or something, I don't know. It's all unedited. I don't edit anything. Hope you're all making money. Speak in the week.